Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel where we dice the milk up regularly while talking about art, internet topics, and at this point, anything I may feel because this is my channel. But today I am going to bring you y'all an exciting video. This has been in the works for a couple months, mainly because you know, the, the college process is hard, applying, portfolios, all that kind of stupid stuff. But today I bring you the story of how I applied to art college with only having taken one art class. And I will showcase my portfolio in between. You'll, you'll see it popping up on the screen and some advice slash tips that I can give for anybody who's in the same weird-ass position that I'm in. So, just settle down, grab a drink, you can be drawing in the background too. I don't blame you, honestly. I mean, YouTube is one of the best things to listen to while drawing. And let's dive right into the video. Okay, for those who haven't been following my Instagram, which at this point... That's a lot of you. <clears throat> little little Insta promo. If if you wanna see more about my life and my art, <clears throat> go follow Artastic T. That's all. But so back in December, I had my art final for Intro to Perceptual Drawing, and for my final, I had to do a self portrait of myself like looking at a mirror with hands surrounding me you know th that kind of thing and I at the end I had to bring in my full portfolio and show it to my professor and she was like oh my god you should go into art you should be an artist and at the time my plan was pre-med and I was just doing art for fun because Technically, I'm still a high schooler. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm sorry to scare y'all, but I am technically a college student and an adult, too. So let's not make it too weird. But and then I watched Moon Age Daydream. And after that, I was like, you know what? I'm going to apply to art college. Meanwhile, this is in December, like the middle of December. And most of the applications are due, like, middle of January, beginning of February. So, throughout, like, when you're seeing the stuff I made and I had, like, some of it is actually from later parts of my art class. But it was all made in a month. Yeah. But, and so... I was lucky enough to have winter break at the time, and I would just sit for, like, three to four hours a day and just draw or paint and just, or fine line and just go, go, go at it, but, and so I did that. I applied to, like, a couple art schools, and I got into majority of them, which, yeah, just yeah and then actually the whole reason why I wasn't gonna have technically have a video last week was I flew out and was touring my chosen school no I'm not gonna tell you the name that's that's probably for after I graduate and stuff but anyways and it's just so exciting so that's that's just the little background behind like how I got into this situation. But for more context about me and art, like I've probably been drawing since like beginning of freshman year. It hasn't been way too long, but yeah, and it was more like for fun and then I picked it up during COVID, of course. And then beginning of this year, I was like, you know what? I am going to take a college art class. And 
So I took that class. And I was like, shit. I should go into art from those reasons. But I honestly have to say, like, the process of applying to art college alone is just, it's crazy. I mean, you just have to summarize yourself in a portfolio, which, I mean, you have to do that for grad school and you have to do that for jobs and everything, but it still baffles me, the process alone. And then they like to see technical stuff and they like to see your style and they like to see different mediums, which is cool, but it's exhausting as hell. I mean, what I ended up doing, like, my main mediums for it was, let's see, I had a couple, I think, like, one charcoal, some ink and wash, some of it, like, I did in class, because that's where I originally learned how to ink and wash, of course, a couple pencil, maybe, I think, like, maybe two pencil, and a shit ton of fine line ones and a couple of gouache ones oh yeah also since i forgot to mention it earlier i'm not going to show you my full portfolio because let's just say there is one um painting in there which is never supposed to see the lights of day again it's nothing bad it's just it's a little personal series that i have going it's like when David Bowie created a bunch of portraits and he was like, oh, yeah, a gallery can totally see it. And then suddenly he backed up and he was like, nope, never seeing the lights of day again. That's basically what that painting is like to me. It's my, if you dare look at this thing, I will bite your head off. Which, it could be better in retrospect, but it's all about emotion and art and being fancy. But, I don't think I did any pen, but yeah. Which actually, I still think the funniest thing is, so, my dumb, ambitious ass decided at the beginning of January, you know what? You're going to pick up gouache, and you're going to include that as a part of the application and the portfolio. Which... I never really painted in my life before this, besides, like, doing, like, wash of watercolor, but, oh my god, it was, it was a time. Yeah, I, I can't believe I learned a completely new medium, and I was like, you know what, this makes sense. This is what I'm going to do. But, oh my god. So, yeah, my portfolio was just, ah. Interesting. Oh, I also put my Furby in my portfolio. I put um, a photograph piece of photosynthesis because I was like, you know what? No one else is going to have a long Furby in their portfolio. Because, I mean, she's technically an art piece. And they're just such a good Furby. But... So I was like, look look at this sculpture. Look at this sculpture that tells the tale of depression amongst the pandemic. And I I just, I imagine, because I read, like, some of the school's processes about, like, picking applicants. And I could just imagine someone, like, a bunch of them just sitting around the table. And then they're looking through my portfolio and they just see a picture of my Furby and then be like, Yep, this this person needs to come to our art school. <laughs> it's just, I don't know why. It's just such a funny and stupid concept. But, so, tip for you kids. Furbies can help get you into art school. Along with kick-ass recommendations, but that's, that's besides the point. But, actually... And another thing that happened, I'm, I'm thinking back to the trip. This is, like, kind of me running all over the place because why would this be formatted? But I went on, like, the college tour of hell. 
it lasted like around four hours when it was supposed to last an hour and a half and the school was incredibly cool but that and the tour guide was pretty good but the tour was so bad that I was like it's amazing I still want to go to this school it's really good but oh my god it's just man art school um but the, I, I've only been on two art school tours because the other place that I toured, it's a lot closer. But, I, I mean, I, again, I, I can't give you guys locations because I'm not doxing my region. I mean, y- you can probably get what region I'm from by the way I talk. Maybe. Maybe not. But, <laughs> anyways... But, I don't know, art school tours are just very strange. But I understand it's a lot of, like, showing you the facilities and showing you the courses and the materials and all that jazz and being like, look, you can go be an animator and then you can stay here till 3 a.m. slaving over these tablets in an air-conditioned room. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna be an animation major. But it's just such a funny concept, though. Anyways, to all your animation majors out there, or anybody who's thinking about that, love you. <laughs> but okay, here, I'll, I'll get into the tips so I don't, like, ramble on to myself about nonsense. But if you're in the same position as me, who, like, someone who started out being self-taught and, like, took one class and was like, you know what, I'm going to art school. What I would probably say is, you know that one class you took? Get get a good recommendation if you're on still, if you're still on good terms with the instructor. Because I was lucky enough to have my art professor from semester one recommend me. Which again, thank God, I'm so lucky to have her and I'm so lucky that she pushed me to do art and apply and stuff but and then two I would probably say gather all of your supplies gather all of your mediums experiment I don't know how much time you have I mean I had a month so I was a bit on a time crunch at the time but and just go at it make art you you think of something weird in your head boom art I literally was, like, sitting eating breakfast cereal one day. I don't know why I said breakfast cereal. Like, I could could have just said cereal. But I was sitting eating cereal, and I was like, you know what? It would be weird if I was eating teeth. So then I decided to make this lovely piece of art about someone's teeth falling out. I still need to make the person eating a bowl of teeth. But... Just do stuff like that. Like, you're not always going to have the best art, but if you have a lot of it, you can choose the good stuff. Trust me, I had some pieces didn't do so well, and I had some gouache pieces that were really, really sketchy. But if you just keep going at it and you stay inspired, then you'll make good art. But, I mean, that's, that's how it is with everything. Like, you can't get it right all the time. And if you could get it right all the time, um, what's your trick? And have you sold your soul yet? But, and just experiment with your art. I mean, I just, I tried, like, a bunch of different weird angles. I tried landscape painting. I, like, I tried all this stuff. I, I mean, I literally tried different mediums. But, because you're not going to do your best work. If you're staying in your comfort zone, you'll more likely be satisfied with what you have in your comfort zone, but you can always get better. You really can. And I know it's not fun to get out of your comfort zone, but it's worth it in the end. Let's see. Third, I would probably say always stay inspired because afterwards I got really, really art blocked, which makes sense because I was like, art and just going at it but I was like 
at the time I was consuming different forms of media. I was watching a lot of movies, watching a lot of TV shows, listening to music all the time. Like, I would put my little cassette player and blast Queen while, and Elton John while I worked on my art. And you just gotta spend time with yourself. I mean, I was pretty isolated at the time because um, I was on break. I mean, I still had to swim and stuff, but... So I would... It would just be me, myself, and the art. Which... It can be seen seen as really daunting, but some people do believe that artists make the best work when they're alone. Which I, I do agree. I think it's more the art you make is more soul searching. But yeah, and the final word of advice I would say is just go for it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? They reject you? Okay, their problem. I mean, I only got rejected from one art school, and let's just say I'm kind of happy that I got rejected from them. I don't think I would have had a good time if I went there, but you just, just go for it. I know like a lot of us have like fear of rejection and all of that stuff, but they just say no. It doesn't really do anything else. It's like, okay. They said no. And it's their loss. You just gotta move on. You gotta keep moving forward and keep pushing back. You keep trying. Because the moment you stop trying means you've been defeated. I know I'm sounding like one of those motivational posters. I know you you can slap me across the face or whatever, but you just gotta push. Because if I didn't, like, push myself and be like, you better sit your ass down in that chair and draw those teeth, it was really the couch, but I don't think I would be here now preparing to go off to art school. Which is insane. And also, another thing, I should have included this as the fifth thing. I don't know what number we're on. Don't listen to what other people say. Because I've been called crazy a lot for, like, wanting to go into art school. I mean, people don't even see what my art looks like most of the time. And so they're like, oh, is so-and-so actually good at art? Oh, are they going to be able to make a living out of it? But you just gotta believe in yourself. Because as long as you believe in yourself, you're gonna be okay. There might be some rough parts, but everything should work out in the end. But, anyways, that's that's art school and all that stuff. But, I actually am excited. I'm, I'm giving, I'll give you all a little preview of this stuff I have in store. Trust me, I have a lot of projects, but th- this is like a little peek into one but I plan on documenting the process of like me going off to art college and like moving out and stuff like that because I think I just want to show people well, like what it's like to go to art school or like this so you can like the people out there can really decide like oh is this something I want to do? But, so anyways, in those, like, future videos, I'll probably be, like, 100% honest. Because if things are going shitty, then I'll just be like, yeah, things are going shitty. Also, if I am able to go to the current art school that I have planned, I'm very excited. And I might be able to upgrade my setup for YouTube. I know. That will probably come around in September, but... Because they, apparently they, they have really good mics and cameras that you can loan. And holy shit, I... I can't just be... This, this is like... It's helpful, but it's not sustainable for me to be sitting on my couch talking into 
my little iPhone microphone that's gone through the wash like five times and is at least five years old. Like that, that isn't sustainable, but it's just exciting. And another thing I want to show, you know, like, again, I love talking about the future and plans I have for YouTube. I'm so passionate about it, but I I just want to document, like, life after high school because I remember at the beginning of the year, I was, like, at least dreading getting out of high school and all that stuff. But it was just a wild, wide world out there. And there's just so much to do. High school is just, it's just four years of your life. That's it. Four years. It's not even that long. Like, at the at 18, like, four years of... God, I just put myself on the spot. That's, like, a little more than one-sixth of my life. It's it. But. So, I'm excited to bring y'all that content in the future. And, you know, there are going to be so many more, like, sketchbook tours. I actually, I have other projects in hand, like, possibly some movie reviews. I know. But just be able to just see what's out there in content but so yeah there we there we go there's me yelling about future stuff but anyways um i would just like to say thank you so much for sticking around and watching my video i like i think last time i checked we're at 127 subscribers, which is insane. I just, it, I, I like again. I don't even have words, and I love it when like I read the comments. Like one morning, I was like, I I get pretty discouraged about like art and YouTube because I don't know. In the past, people have just been like, oh well why would you want to be a YouTuber? And I'm like, well, why not? But when I wake up and I see, like, little comments, and I, I try to respond as fast as I can. I mean, sometimes I can't because, you know, college and life. But it's just, it's amazing. And I'm just so happy and I'm so lucky to be in the position I am now. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's crazy. And I love my little channel. And I love y'all, my subscribers, so much. So apparently my audio just cut out, so here's me re-recording, but make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, because according to YouTube, 95% of you aren't subscribed. I would like you to consider the invitation to join us screaming into the void because it's pretty fun here. It's it's pretty chill. But comment anything you want to say about art school, you know, any stories, any thoughts. I'll be happy to read them and respond to them. And again, just thank you so much for this opportunity. And Thank you for listening to me. Um, time of recording is 10.48 on a Monday. It's technically not a school night, but... Because I'm on, like, vacation, but not vacation. And if y'all want to know, I'm going to watch The Joker after this because I'm currently on a 100 film challenge. <clears throat> future video maybe but yeah just again i'm not one of those film bros i promise y'all i'm not one of those film bros i just like tyler durden in a i want to steal his gender kind of way but thank y'all for watching and don't let those prestigious art schools bite you on the way out goodbye